I offer this morning's Mass for Eleanor Ann Lutke. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. My friends, today is the 25th of March, and we celebrate today the solemnity of the Annunciation of the Lord. So that we might do this well, let us now pause to call to mind our sins and entrust ourselves to God's loving mercy. Lord Jesus, your mighty God and Prince of Peace, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, your Son of God and Son of Mary, Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, your Word made flesh and splendor of the Father, Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Since today is the uh, solemnity, we also have a Gloria today. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who will that your word should take on the reality of human flesh in the womb of the Virgin Mary, grant, we pray, that we who confess our Redeemer to be God and man may merit to become partakers even in his divine nature, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. The Lord spoke to Ahaz, saying, Ask for a sign from the Lord your God. Let it be deep as the netherworld, or high as the sky. But Ahaz answered, I will not ask, I will not tempt the Lord. Then Isaiah said, Listen, O house of David, it is not enough for you to weary people. Must you also weary my God? Therefore, the Lord himself will give you this sign. The virgin shall be with child and bear a son, and shall name him Emmanuel, which means God is with us. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Sacrifice or oblation you wish not, the ears open to obedience you gave me. Holocaust or sin offering you sought not. Then said, I, behold, I come. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. In the written scroll it is prescribed for me. To do your will, O oh my God, is my delight, and your law is within my heart. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. I announce your justice in the vast assembly. I did not restrain my lips as you, O Lord, know. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. Your justice I kept not hid within my heart. Your faithfulness and your salvation I have spoken of. I have made no secret your kindness and your truth in the vast assembly. Here I am, Lord, I come to do your will. A reading from the letter to the Hebrews. Brothers and sisters, it is impossible that the blood of bulls and goats take away sins. For this reason, when Christ came into the world, he said, sacrifice and offering you did not desire, a body you prepare for me. In holocausts and sin offerings, you took no delight. 
Then I said, as it's written for of me in the scroll, behold, I come to do your will, O God. First, he says, sacrifice and offerings, holocaust and sin offerings, you neither desired nor delighted in. There, these are offered according to the law. Then he said, behold, I come to do your will. He takes away the first to establish the second. By this will, we have been consecrated through the offering of the body of Jesus Christ once for all. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The word of God became flesh and made his dwelling among us, and we saw his glory. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. The angel Gabriel was sent from God to a town of Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin betrothed to a man named Joseph, of the house of David, and the virgin's name was Mary. And coming to her, he said, Hail, full of grace, the Lord is with you. But she was greatly troubled at what was said, and pondered what sort of greeting this might be. Then the angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. Behold, you will conceive in your womb and bear a son, and you shall name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called Son of the Most High. And the Lord will, God will give you the throne of David his father, and he will rule over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there will be no end. But Mary said to the angel, How can this be, since I have no relations with a man? And the angel said to her in reply, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be called Holy, the Son of God. And behold, Elizabeth, your relative, has also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month for her, who is called barren, for nothing will be impossible for God. Mary said, Behold, I am the handmaid of the Lord. May it be done to me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. Today we celebrate the Annunciation to Mary by the angel Gabriel that she will bear the Savior of the world, Jesus Christ. And What's significant as I was meditating upon the reading for today was Mary's response. That her yes will last for all eternity. And her yes changed the course of history, of human history. And it's a reminder to us that we celebrate the incarnation that God who existed for all eternity became one of us and walked on this earth and suffered and died for our salvation and then rose again. That he took upon himself our sin and then redeemed it. Why? Why did he do this and how did he do this? The why is that because God loves us. God loves us and did not spare his son for our sake. But today we celebrate the how, the how of God's work in salvation. And that how is the response of Mary and her yes. And that yes endures forever. In, at our parish here at St. Stephen, we have a practice and a tradition that we have here that at noontime, when the Angelus bell rings, those staff who are in the office, we gather together to pray the Angelus to mark this significant event in which we read and we pray from the scripture that we heard today, how the angel Gabriel 
came to announce to Mary that she would bear the Son of God and to save the world. And as part of that Angelus prayer that we pray, we also lift up to the Lord our God the prayers, the prayers for our community, the prayers for us individually as staff members, and certainly the prayers of our parishioner. And it's a beautiful practice that we have, and I encourage, I encourage maybe that's another way for us to be connected to one another spiritually. I encourage you to pray the Angelus at noontime with us, even though we're separated by distance. We're not, we are together in the love of the Lord. And as we pray that prayer, we remember Mary's yes, and we ask for God's grace that we, that we might be equally as bold as she was in saying yes also to the Lord's desire to work in and through our life. And so my friends, in the incarnation today, the, the Annunciation of Mary, we celebrate the God-made man we celebrate Mary's yes, and we ask for the grace, for the grace to boldly proclaim our faith and our discipleship in Jesus, in Jesus Christ also. Also in today's solemnity, we have the um, credo or the profession of faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made, for us man and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken to the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Trusting that God hears and answers our prayers, let us now give voice to our needs. We pray for Pope Francis and for all those whom God has called to leadership in the church, that they might be open to the promptings of the Holy Spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our civil leaders, that God will give them the gift of wisdom and prudence to guide our nation and our world. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for an increase in vocations of priesthood and religious life, that those whom God has called might respond generously. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who are suffering from the effects of this crisis. We pray in a special way for the health care uh, providers, that God will keep them safe in their heroic efforts. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for our beloved dead, especially for our friends and family members, that God will look mercifully upon them and grant them eternal rest. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, you know our needs and desires before we give voice to them. Hear the prayers of your people who cry out to you in our needs and answer these prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen.
pray, friends, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and good all his holy church. Be pleased, Almighty God, to accept your church's offering so that she, who is aware of her beginnings, lie in the incarnation of your only begotten Son, may rejoice to celebrate his mysteries on this solemnity, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For the Virgin Mary heard with faith that the Christ was to be born among men and for man's sake by the overshadowing power of the Holy Spirit. Lovingly she bore him in her immaculate womb that the promises of the children of Israel might come about and the hope of nations be accomplished beyond all telling. Through him the host of angels adores your majesty and rejoices at your presence forever. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in one chorus of exalted praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation. Giving thanks, you held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Bernard, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages. May we merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. 
Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always be free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always and with your spirit. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. And we pray the prayer of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as, as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. Confirm in our minds the mysteries of the true faith, we pray, O Lord, so that confessing that he who was conceived of the Virgin Mary is true God and true man. We may, through the saving power of his resurrection, merit to eternal, eternal joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth to seek love and serve our Lord Jesus Christ. Thanks be to God. Have a wonderful day.